Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I am Ronald Kapoor with the top cricket news this Saturday. First up, the West Indies fall behind against India at Antigua. Australia take control of the third Ashes Test. Sri Lanka to tour Pakistan for a limited over series in September, and RCB make major changes to their coaching staff. Starting with the Antigua Test, and India edged ahead after restricting the West Indies to 189 for eight in response to their first inning score of 297. All four of India's frontline bowlers were among the wickets after two of them helped take India to a competitive first innings total with the bat earlier in the day. Ravindra Jadeja and Ishan Sharma put on a fighting 60-run stand for the eighth wicket, the second highest partnership of the innings to frustrate the West Indies bowlers who struck early on day two with the wicket of Rishabh Pant. And Ishan then led the Indian response with the ball, picking up five for 42 from 13 overs, registering his ninth test fifer in the process. Over to Leeds now and Australia took a giant stride towards regaining the Ashes after blowing England away for just 67 in their first innings on day two of the third test at Headingley. Led by Josh Hazelwood's devastating five-wicket haul, his seventh in test cricket, England's first innings capitulated in just 27.5 overs for 67, their lowest Ashes score since 1948. Australia further consolidated their hold on the test after ending the day at 171 for six to add to their 112-run first innings lead. Manus Labushain registering a third straight half-century in the series, proving to be a more than able replacement to Stephen Smith. Moving on to news from Sri Lanka, and the island nation have confirmed that they will tour Pakistan for three ODIs and three T20Is in September-October 2019. The news would come as a delight for cricket fans in Pakistan, who will witness the longest bilateral series to be played on Pakistan soil in a decade. While Karachi will host the three-match ODI series starting September 27, the teams will then move to Lahore for the three-match T20I series that follows. The ODIs will be the first to take place in Pakistan since Zimbabwe toured for a three-match ODI series in 2015. And finally, to some IPL news, the Royal Challengers Bangalore have joined the list of IPL franchises to initiate a major overhaul of their support staff for the 2020 edition. Former India seamer Ashish Nehra and former South African batsman and seasoned coach Gary Kirsten, who led RCB's coaching staff in 2019, have been replaced by former New Zealand coach Mike Hessen and former Aussie batsman Simon Katich. Both Nehra and Kirsten were part of the leadership group along with RCB captain Virat Kohli during IPL 2019, where the team ended up finishing at the bottom of the league, leading to a rethink by the management. Sanjeev Churiwala, the RCB chairman, stated that the decision of the franchise is now to move to a single coach model in the bid to install a winning culture for the team. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.